pulled out a lot of our tomato cages yesterday. I don't know if you can see them. See all the cages here? This is the one problem we have with them every year, where to store them when we're not using them. So I think that solution is going to be figured out in a few months. Fingers crossed. Spaghetti squash. August 17th, 2022. Store all my hand tools in the mailbox for now. Beets are ready to come out. Show you what they looked like a month ago. My husband finished that last raised bed at the bottom of the hill uh, in the last week. So the machine's been coming in and out and it's torn up grass, but it'll grow back in and we're getting more zoysia plugs this week. So white sweet potatoes, two broccoli on the end of the row. And almost gone tomato plants. There's a few hangers on the cherry tomatoes there. And these are some extras I can still harvest from. Amaranth still hasn't gone to seed, but it's been a great trap plant. I have to look up again and remember what bugs it traps, but it's been eaten alive. And we filled in several beds yesterday to get ready for more fall planting. And you'll notice the beds we haven't filled in yet, how much they've sunk. So let me find a good one to show you. The dirt level was to the top of the brick or the block, completely packed in. And it's gone down that much, which was expected. We loaded the bottom up with wood chips, kind of a simple hugoculture. And then the top 12 inches was compost. So as they break down and the worms eat stuff, it's going to sink. It'll sink even if we filled the whole thing with compost. It would still sink a little every year. Because even in our ground beds, we would always add an inch or two of compost every fall. Basil's going to seed. The bees really love that, so I like letting a bunch of those go to seed each year. And here's where a bunch of tomato cages came out. And I've got brassicas and beets just dispersed in there. And if I get more of those seedlings to come up, this is where I'll be planting them. A few green bean plants in here, but mostly butternut squash. I'm actually going to get a good butternut squash harvest this year, it looks like. Last year something destroyed the plants, and I got very few. I had to come in a few days ago when I cut the grass and slice all the runners that were coming out into the walkway. Still a few green tomatoes left, so I don't want to cut all the plants off just yet. Look at this big butternut squash hanging up there by itself. More cherry tomatoes. Very happy zucchini plants. Gotten a few off, and I noticed one around the back yesterday, so I'm waiting for more to start growing. Yesterday we took out all the pepper plants and romas. The peppers could have kept going and producing, but I have plenty frozen. I don't need more. The chickens enjoyed the plants and I needed the space to be completely cleaned up so it is I think I'm going to be putting strawberries there in the fall this is the bed that was finished up this week I'm going to be putting a concrete slab at the bottom just for some tool storage and all of the white bags are from Starbucks it's the free coffee grounds you can pick up there the worms love the coffee grounds it's a gentle, slow-release nitrogen. It's just really good for the plants. 
Those are our original sweet potatoes. I bought some sweet potatoes from Whole Foods five or six, seven years ago, and I've just made more and more ever since from those two sweet potato plants. These are supposed to be the purple sweet potatoes, so we'll see how they taste. And more squash. I just picked some off there this morning. I'm going to be putting zoysia plugs in here. You can see the dumped piles of coffee grounds that need to be spread. Carrots. There's a few mushrooms coming up. There's also carrots in here. They are just starting. Hope this is a nice full bed in a few weeks. And I put peas along this trellis for the fall. They're starting to come up. On the back side of the pinto trellises, I tucked in some broccoli. Just trying to fill space. Last chance for cucumbers. I've gotten no good cucumbers this year, so we'll see. This bed, this bed, and this bed are all potatoes. I've never done a fall harvest of potatoes before, and I planted all these beds full in early July, and then I realized I planted them way too early. They ended up rotting in the dirt, so about the second week in August or so, maybe a week ago, I planted more potatoes. So, fingers crossed those come up. We got a good harvest this spring, but I would like a lot more. I would like to have my own seed potatoes for spring next year. The former watermelon beds have been filled with brassicas. There's cauliflower, broccoli, some Brussels sprouts. There's a few leeks, and there's empty spots where they didn't transplant well. So I hope to fill in those with the seedlings I have going in the greenhouse. This one's also brassicas. Strawberry babies, they have been very prolific. In a few more weeks, I'm going to be cutting them and transplanting them, cleaning this bed out. The pinto beans, we've been harvesting them as they dry. There's sweet potatoes on the ends, also of those rows. We don't actually, as a family, enjoy sweet potatoes or eat them often, but we can grow them really well, and they store for a long time really well so it's a good food to have around in case you're hungry and we share them and I know I can make dog treats with them so I gotta try that this year so that's about it for now in mid-August it's a lot of cleanup time um, and staying on track of the new stuff that you want to have planted for fall these were supposed to be Brussels sprouts, but they're looking more like a bok choy to me. See those big leaves? This is Brussels sprouts. We grew them last year and really liked them. But I'm thinking some long brassica seeds got mixed in. And this one's broccoli. And this is a beet. Of the four different types of squash that I have growing, these pumpkin squash are the only ones not putting out fruit. And I looked today and noticed they were all male flowers. So maybe in time I'll get some females. I've just never seen this happen before. What's going on in the greenhouse? I have tomatoes planted to hopefully get some tomato plants November, December, maybe January. I've got a total of five tomato plants, and that's the smallest one. And this one's the biggest one. And I threw in my extra pea seeds after planting peas in the garden. So we'll either eat the green tops or use them for chop and drop, but they'll be nice companions for the tomatoes anyway. Do you have some seeds started to see how late I can start 
brassicas and still get a harvest. That might be too late, but I'm giving it a try. Some kale that I'm going to be transplanting soon. And sweet bell peppers. I had a great result growing peppers and tomatoes in here last year. Uh, into the end of the year when it gets cold. So I'm looking forward to that again. Good morning, Mr. B.